hazelnuts, cashews, walnuts, pistachios. Are nuts the health food that we've been led to believe? Let's talk about that. How's it going guys? My name's Richie Kerwin and today we're going to talk about nuts and how they might affect health. We'll talk about all the different nutrients they contain and what effect those nutrients can have on your body. We'll also talk about some little known info on nut digestion and how it might relate to body weight. As always, I wanna point out that I won't be telling you whether or not you should be eating nuts. In all my videos, my goal is to help explain some of the science behind different aspects of diet and nutrition. My goal is to help you understand how different diets, foods, and nutrients affect your health so you make up your own mind about what to do with that information. Let's get started. So what even is a nut? Well, things get complicated straight away because a nut is a fruit with a hard outer shell around an edible kernel. So technically, that includes things like hazelnuts, chestnuts, and acorns, but doesn't include almonds, pecans, pistachios, walnuts, or Brazil nuts. But for the purpose of this video, to make things easier, I'm going to include all these types of nuts together as a group called tree nuts. I'm also going to include peanuts, which are actually legumes like beans and peas. All of these nuts have some very similar nutrients that make them have similar health effects. So what are these nutrients that nuts contain and what effects do they have? Well, first, let's start with probably the main nutrient in nuts. And if you said protein, you're actually wrong. Nuts do have much more protein than other plant foods, and that amount varies between nuts. For example, almonds have about 28 grams of protein per 100 grams, and cashews have 18 grams. The protein in nuts comes with a lot of calories though. So using nuts as your main source of protein may not be a great idea if you're also trying to keep your calories controlled. You might wonder why the calories in nuts are so high, and it's because of the primary macronutrient in nuts, which is fat. So that's right, nuts are an excellent source of whole food fats, and many of the health benefits of nuts come from the fact that nuts are especially high in unsaturated fats. Nuts like almonds, hazelnuts, cashews, pistachios, and macadamia nuts are great sources of monounsaturated fats. And nuts like walnuts, peanuts, and Brazil nuts also contain useful polyunsaturated fats. In fact, walnuts are one of the few common whole foods that are good sources of omega-3 fats, which have a lot of beneficial effects on brain and heart health. On the other hand, coconuts are one of the few nuts that are high in saturated fats, and that's why they can have some different health effects compared to tree nuts. So why are unsaturated fats so beneficial? Well, compared to saturated fats, unsaturated fats help to reduce cholesterol levels. High blood cholesterol levels are associated with a greater risk of heart disease, which is the number one killer on earth. In one meta-analysis, which is a combination of results from a number of similar studies, researchers found that one serving of nuts per day, which is about 28 grams, was able to significantly reduce total and LDL cholesterol, as well as apolipoprotein B, which is the carrier protein for cholesterol in the blood. Now, that cholesterol lowering effect is probably not just caused by the unsaturated fats in nuts, but we'll be able to get to those other nutrients in a minute. Another major benefit of unsaturated fats in nuts is improvement of glycemic control. There is evidence that says that diets higher in unsaturated fats seem to be associated with a lower risk of diabetes, and this might be because excess intake of saturated fats can lead to reduced sensitivity to insulin, the hormone that we use to help lower our blood glucose levels. Unsaturated fats don't seem to reduce insulin sensitivity as much as saturated fats. Not surprisingly, large epidemiological studies have shown that greater nut intake is associated with better insulin sensitivity and lower glucose and insulin levels, even when accounting for body weight, which can have a major effect on glycemic control. Another major nutrient provided by nuts is fiber, with just 30 grams of almonds, one of the richest sources of fiber, providing almost four grams of fiber itself. Nuts provide both soluble and insoluble fiber, and the effects of soluble fiber include lowering cholesterol levels and acting as a prebiotic, a healthy food source for our gut microbiome. Fiber lowers cholesterol by helping us to excrete excess cholesterol from our digestive system by binding with the cholesterol and preventing it from being reabsorbed. Fiber is also really important for helping to keep us regular, and it can also help improve glycemic control, probably by reducing the speed at which carbohydrates get absorbed after eating. Okay, 
So unsaturated fat and fiber are probably the two most commonly known beneficial nutrients in nuts, but it doesn't stop there. Nuts also contain a big variety of polyphenols, with each different nut containing a different mix of polyphenols in different quantities. Polyphenols are a group of plant or phytochemicals. These are substances that aren't essential nutrients, as in we don't need them to survive, but they can have beneficial effects on our health. Remember, something doesn't have to be essential to be good for you. Polyphenols are an absolutely massive group of substances, and they have a lot of different effects on the human body. One of the ways they seem to work is by increasing our body's own production of antioxidant and anti-inflammatory compounds, helping to lower markers of inflammation in the body. Polyphenols have also been shown to improve endothelial function. The endothelium is the lining of cells within our blood vessels, and the health of your endothelium is related to your risk of cardiovascular disease. Nut consumption can also lead to better production of nitric oxide in our blood, which helps blood vessels to expand and may help lower blood pressure. Nuts are also a great source of plant or phytosterols. These are substances that resemble cholesterol, and that's how they have their effect on human health. Because they resemble cholesterol, they compete with cholesterol for absorption in our gut, and this helps to reduce the amount of cholesterol we reabsorb, lowering our blood cholesterol levels. Nuts can also be a useful source of minerals like magnesium and potassium. Deficiencies in magnesium in particular might lead to a greater risk of high blood pressure and poor glycemic control. Another example of a mineral is selenium, a mineral that many people can be deficient in due to low levels of selenium in soil around the world. Selenium is essential for helping us to produce the antioxidant enzyme glutathione peroxidase. Just two Brazil nuts a day are enough to significantly increase blood selenium levels as well as glutathione peroxidase activity in the body. So I've mentioned a lot of different bioactive nutrients that can be found in nuts and I've mentioned their health effects, but it's also worth bearing in mind many nutrients can have similar functions and work together with other nutrients to lead to greater overall health effects. This is why the mix of nutrients in nuts, unsaturated fats, fiber, phytosterols, minerals, and other phytonutrients might be able to work together to provide useful health benefits for people who eat them, especially in terms of heart and cardiovascular health. In fact, the same nutrients in nuts that cause improvements in cardiovascular function, like unsaturated fats, fiber, phytosterols, antioxidant minerals, and polyphenols, may also help with the protection of brain or cognitive function. That's because many of the ways that nuts protect the heart, like regulation of blood flow, protecting against the formation of arterial plaques, reduction of oxidative stress and inflammation, also protect against neurodegeneration or loss of brain function. Now, you'll probably remember that I mentioned earlier that nuts are high in calories. So you'd probably be surprised to hear that nuts also seem to be useful for helping people to lose or maintain weight. How exactly could that be? Well, there are a few ways this might happen. One of those is by improving satiety, or keeping us from feeling hungry. Researchers aren't completely sure why nuts are so good for helping to control hunger, but nuts do contain fiber and protein, which are both known to have effects on reducing appetite. But another feature of nuts in particular might help explain why they can be so useful in weight loss and weight maintenance. You see, the energy, or the calories that are contained within nuts, are probably not completely absorbed when we eat them. In one study where participants were given different types of peanuts to eat, either whole peanuts, peanut butter, or peanut oil, researchers found that almost 18% of the fat from the whole peanuts was lost in the participant's stool. That's another word for poop. 7% of the fat was lost from the peanut butter, and less than 5% was lost from the people who were given peanut oil. In another study, participants were given up to 200 grams of almonds per day, and the amount of fat in their stool increased from about 3% to 10%. And another study with almonds showed that about 32% fewer calories get absorbed from whole almonds compared to almond butter. That's a massive difference. The reason for this is that the cell wall of nuts is particularly tough to digest by the enzymes we have in our gut. That means some of the cells in the nuts never get broken down and don't release their energy or their fat for absorption, and some of it just gets pooped out. The more processed the nut is, the easier the fat and calories get absorbed, and that's why nut butters show more fat absorption than whole nuts, which we have to chew a lot to break down. Unfortunately, that means that we don't get as much of the benefits or all of the nutrients from whole nuts because we can't absorb them all. But that said, a lot of research on the benefits of nuts is carried out with whole nuts, and they still show plenty of health benefits. So, there you have it. 
a summary of some of the most important nutrients in nuts and how they can benefit health and weight maintenance. But what do you think? Are nuts something you eat regularly? And do you eat whole nuts or nut butters? Let me know in the comments below and remember to like and subscribe to the My Protein YouTube channel for more great evidence-based nutrition information. Thank you.